Greetings, ENG262 people. It is week number five. So we are entering the second half of the term. Let me share my screen and we'll go through this week's assignments together. Um, oh, let me turn on the student view so it looks more familiar to you guys. There we go. Um, so as I mentioned, we are halfway through. Um, if there are any assignments from the first four units that you have not submitted yet or that still need some tweaking, um, please let me know where things stand. Reach out by email. That's the easiest way. Um, or you can obviously contact me during regular office hours via Fuse. Um, we can always use the collaborate room if we need to do some hands on uh, back and forth. So do not hesitate to reach out if you need something, um, some help with something from the past. Uh, and then, of course, we will work on getting everything in on time for the upcoming uh, rest of the term because it's going to be over before we know it. So let's go to unit five, which is where we find ourselves this week. And we are focusing on theater and drama. Um, and specifically in the United States and representations of um, civil rights issues, specifically racial civil rights issues, um, with the use of a play by August Wilson named Fences. Um, August Wilson, you'll learn a lot about him this week, but he has, um, he passed away not terribly long ago, unfortunately, but he did also finish a um, set of plays that represent um, life in the Black community for every decade of the 20th century. It's really an incredible accomplishment, um, and we are looking at one of those plays, Fences, during this term. So Fences is a pretty hardy play, so you want to get that reading done early in the week because it is um, obviously something that you're going to need for completing the assignments as well. You're going to be turning in this week a topic proposal for a research paper. So the paper itself is not due this week, but the topic um, choices are. And you're going to be obviously discussing civil rights as a theme in a work of literature. Uh, and of course, the activities will be to read and do your readings and all the and look at all the resources. You're going to participate in the unit discussion and then you're going to um, turn in your topic proposal, which is your uh, writing assignment this week. So let's take a look at the uh, readings and resources list. As, you, as always, obviously we're reading from our textbook um, and this particular uh, time. It's just the one play, but we've also got a cool research starter for you um, regarding fences, and that's great because it will give you some key um, info, but it's also going to give you some potential topics. So that, don't shortchange yourself. Make sure you check that link out as well because that's going to help you with your topic proposal uh, towards the end of the week. We also have a, a video interview with August Wilson. I, we've talked about this in the, in the discussions and beyond, but I love um, hearing from the authors themselves. So um, please enjoy that. It is supplemental, but it is a good idea to take a look at that. Now, here's the danger with plays. Um, the temptation is going to be to not read the play uh, and to find Denzel Washington's fairly recent 2016 version of Fences on video and to watch that. And I do recommend that you watch the play in its uh, film version. However, you want to read the play because very, very seldom do you see a movie version that is identical, even in the, the verbiage, to the written play itself. So make sure that you're doing that. And then I've also got um, some additional resources for you. Again, these are supplemental, but they will help you in getting your, um, your discussion done, your topic proposal, all of those things. Um, so take a look at all of those. These are from our post-university library. These are not in your textbook. 
um, but those will help you as well. For sure, check out the first one. And that one's the same one that's listed above uh, Barbara's uh, research starter from the Salem Press Encyclopedia of Literature. Um, you'll notice it's in both places. That one is a required research source, but it is also probably the most helpful uh, for getting ready for the topic proposal. All right, so let's take a look at the discussion board prompt first. One hallmark of listening to multicultural voices is the presence of language and themes that are sometimes uncomfortable. And you will notice that that is a factor in the play Fences. However, many argue that we should not shy away from realism and historical accuracy. Using your experience with Fences as a basis, discuss the power of language and multicultural voices and specifically regarding civil rights issues in America. How does using real life language enhance or inhibit civil rights discussions? In what other works of art or literature have you experienced similar reactions to the language used? And then of course, you'll post your response by Wednesday and then have until Sunday to comment to at least two additional students. Um, one of the things that I would, I would encourage you to think about with this particular discussion prompt is rap music. Um, that is where we see a lot of debate in modern culture about the fact that um, the use of, of things like the N-word uh, are highly criticized, but then there are also people who would argue, but this is how real people talk. Um, it, it's a long-term debate. Uh, and of course, it doesn't just apply to Black issues. Um, there are certainly racial slurs and ethnic slurs that go beyond just the N-word um, that we sometimes see in our culture. Um, so feel free to, to branch out beyond just fences and talk about other things that you have encountered as well. Then in the writing assignment for this week, like I said, this is not the full paper, this is the topic proposal. Um, so let's take a look at that. The paper itself is going to be due at the end of next week. So unit six, we're in unit five right now. You're going to submit your topic proposal this week, which will include an introduction with a preliminary thesis. Of course, that may change when you write the full version of the paper. You want to have a brief outline. So what are your main points going to be? Um, and you want to have an initial bibliography. Now, you're going to for sure cite fences. You're going to have that as one of your sources. Um, you may also use any of those sources in the supplemental resources, uh, in the resources folder, as your secondary sources. Those are all fair game, including that research starter that you are required to write. So make sure that you, that you use the sources that are provided for you. You, of course, can also find additional sources as well. Now, a part of this is to look at the assignment sheet as usual. So let's go ahead and pull this up. This is the topic proposal assignment sheet, not the full paper assignment sheet. You will learn more about the paper next week. Um, but for now, focus on this as your guideline. So you're going to have an APA document. You still wanna create a Word document that has the APA title page, and then starting on page two, your introductory paragraph with a thesis statement will be there, plus your brief outline of topics and points you plan to cover, and then a separate references page. So all one document, but a new page for the references. You're gonna have the play and at least two potential secondary sources. The document then is going to have to be at least three pages because of the cover page and the reference page and your intro and outline because they'll be double spaced may take up more than one page. It's absolutely fine. There's no like, oh my gosh, it has to be exactly two pages or whatever, uh, but the whole thing will be double spaced. Remember in unit one, and I'm going to go back and show you where that is again because it will come in handy. There is a template that you can use. So let's go back to the regular course and go all the way back to the home page. And I'm going to click, oops, click on unit one. Sorry, I'm clicking faster than I'm scrolling or I'm scrolling faster than I'm clicking something. Anyway, under readings and resources, remember there is an entire folder here for using APA 
and submitting your assignments. Some of you have been having some trouble with submitting in Blackboard. This is where you go to get the information on that. And the template is literally a Word document. So you can just type over it. You can create your paper, or in this case, your topic proposal based on that, um, on that template. So please, please, please make use of those. Um, I, I even use templates typically when I'm working with APA because I'm way more familiar with MLA. I can do that with my eyes closed, but uh, APA is a little bit different. Remember when you're working with library sources, such as this, the ones that we have um, given you, let me go back to this week and check out one of those. Um, let me click on one of these so you see what it looks like. This of course is in the post library. So you will have to sign in if you are not already logged into the library. Uh-oh. All right, if that happens, then what we can do is search for the information. I am gonna make some notes. Um, let me double check all of these and make sure if it's, it may just be because I'm not signed in properly. Okay, this one worked. So I will make sure to update the previous one. Um, but you can also get the name and the um, title and just search for it. So Dee Letzler is uh, the author of Walking Around the Fences. So we could search for that in the library as well. Um, but the next one came up. So let me show that one and I'm here, my computer, there we go, um, and show you what you would do. So in order to read this article, you would click on the PDF full text, and that's going to give you the actual article. Um, and then you'll also notice that in the article or in the database, not really the article itself, there is a citation button. So if you click on this, it is going to allow you to choose the um, APA citation. Now, I will tell you, and, and it's, wrong on the, it's wrong on the readings and resources, so I would not count this wrong if you use this, but Nadel is his last name. It really should be Nadel comma A period instead of Alan Nadel. I don't know what, what is happening there, um, but sometimes we do have to adjust those a little bit. Um, let me check. Oh, and honestly, these are the APA citations already. So you can just copy and paste those. Um, this one is missing a period at the end, the last one on the list. Um, but otherwise, those seem to be correct. But you, you also, when you're using library sources, you want to pull that citation out if needed. Okay. Um, so some of the work is already done for you. You just need to make sure that you um, are using it. So let me, let me, I'm going to report this. And I'm going to see if I can just search for that one. The library. And the author was D. Letzler from African American Review. Okay. Okay, well, at, at any rate, if I get another link to it, I will put it out in our announcements. So those are your two assignments this week, um, one discussion board as usual, and then one writing assignment. But again, it's not a full paper, that's gonna be due at the end of next unit, um, but this is just your topic proposal. So you can get as much of it done as you want to. Um, you know, sometimes it helps to do extra, but uh, if you have any questions or problems, please let me know, like I said, and I will be happy to help walk you through it. Um, 
and all that good stuff. So in the meantime, everyone have a great week and I will um, be active and see you on the discussion board. Everybody take care.